guys, what did I tell you about hiding in my appliances? First a microwave, and now the fridge? Aren't you cold? You know, you thought you would have learned the first time. You guys gotta stop hiding in places like that. It's dangerous. Anyway, I was playing Tomb Raider. Hold on, quick shout out. Yes, Tomb Raider, I do have that game as of today. Huge shout out to my viewer, Tamara. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. Tamara was nice enough to get me this to my wish list over at davidswishlist.com. Tomb Raider for the 360. I just spent the last few hours playing it. And guys, so far, it's incredible. It's very similar to The Last of Us, where obviously, you know, mechanics, you take cover. Uh, by mechanics, I mean the gameplay mechanics. The physics mechanics. But I gotta say, I might be enjoying this a little more in terms of action, because there's a lot less action and less um, storyline slash cutscenes. But that's not a good thing or a bad thing, that's just how it is. Uh, but I'm really enjoying the bow. The bow is a lot of fun. So uh, thank you tomorrow again, I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, while I was playing Tomb Raider, I was thinking, well, I'm gonna make chicken stir fry for dinner, so why not record the process? Because I've seen you guys comment in the past on my pictures of salmon and whatever, my tweets saying, David should do a cooking show. You ready, Maui? You sneezing? Yeah, I know, I know, tough life. Uh, so this is my video of dinner. Enjoy. Now by chicken stir fry, I simply mean this. This is a prepackaged meal from a local food market here in South Jersey, the tri-state area, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, called Acme. Yeah, like the dynamite. Um, so this is the raw chicken, broccoli, red peppers. It looks like red peppers, uh, onions, and maybe a couple surprises here and there. So that's just my disclaimer. So in other words, I'm not a cook. So please don't judge me, I'm not good at cooking. But I will say, I am good at this. This is easy, you just put it in a frying pan and you watch it cook and you put soy sauce and mix in. Um, but I do cook salmon, I cook Cajun salmon. I had one last night and I'm gonna have another one tomorrow night. That's just where you put the, foil, the uh, salmon in foil with butter under it so it doesn't burn or stick. Uh, cook it on 375 Fahrenheit for uh, 30 minutes. And then it's done. It's such an easy meal that I usually use a frozen bag of veggies for my side, such as this, the steam fresh. Uh, we got green beans, but this one is my new favorite. I have this uh, pasta with pieces of broccoli in it, with kind of some kind of cheese sauce. It's really good. But tonight I will not be doing that. Tonight it's just chicken stir fry, and this alone is pretty filling. All right, enough talking. Let's just cook. As always, start out by washing your hands. I don't have any hand soap right here. I have it in the bathroom. So I'll use dishwashing soap, which works just as well. And I will be touching raw chicken. So it's always a good idea to wash your hands beforehand and afterhand. Now to dry my hands using a towel with, yes, rabbits on it. Not sure where I got it from, but hey, it works. Let's move this to the side and take out the pan I like to use. That one. And now, I don't usually do this. This is actually my first time opening this. Vegetable oil, just to put a little bit in it, just to spread around. Let's put that on eight, nice and high. just to get it nice and moist. Move that around, spread it, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I just noticed I'm using the wrong pan. I usually use a bigger pan. Doesn't matter though, because this isn't a huge meal. I literally just, hold on, take the plastic off. And I just plop it on. Well, let me do this first. This is a bit messier. And plop. Put that over there. Random remnants. Spread that around. Actually, you know what? Rather than taking a chance, let's transfer it. As you can see, the chicken's already cooking. 
Yeah, this is definitely much easier. Actually, I don't want this piece of chicken. I noticed in the packaging, it looks kind of weird. Let me throw that away. I'm kind of picky when it comes to stuff like that. Just let that sit there for a while. Eventually, it'll sizzle. Stir fry seasoning mix. But I'm also going to be throwing some of this in, soy sauce, just to add some uh, flavor. There you go. Just your essential everyday brand. I believe that's Acme's in-store brand. So it's cheap, but it works. And flip that. And of course, I am always very careful when it comes to cooking meat. I always make sure every single centimeter, as far as I can see anyway, is cooked fully. Because I do not want to take the chance of having, uh, having uh, food poisoning. All right, I see. With this mix, I can actually add it right now uh, with soy sauce, sugar, and water. Move this around a bit. Actually, let me put it on its own section. And then we have soy sauce, sugar, and water. Good. Put some water in there. Mix it around. Again, there's no rule book for me. I just do it my own way. It's pretty hard to mess up chicken stir fry. I don't even know how exciting this video is going to be. Just put sugar in. I'm not going to do that. So leave that there for a bit. What I like to do is put everything in the very middle. Since I don't have a real lid for this pan, I use the lid from this pot. And I kind of trap the heat in there to soften things up a bit. All right, let's flip it. It's looking good. The sauce is getting a little thick. That's a good thing. And the chicken's already white. So this is going a little quicker than it normally does. But I'd rather overcook a little bit than undercook, so I'm in no rush. That actually looks really banging. So again, let me block the heat in. And let me queue up Netflix. All right. Just for fun, let me put some pepper in. Spice things up a bit. And a little salt, why not? And a little mixy mix. Yeah, this sauce is definitely thicker than it usually is. So I'll probably end up pouring some out. But I usually do anyway. I don't like it too saucy. I mean, I do love sauce, don't get me wrong, but I don't want it to be too overbearing. Again, guys, I am not a cook. So please don't judge me too much. I can feel people quietly judging me right now. But I am proud of me, uh, myself for what this is. Chicken looks well cooked. I'll give it two more minutes. In the meantime, I'll get my drink ready and stuff like that. With the lid off. It's looking good. I think it's done. That should be enough. Now let's see how it tastes and whether I'm gonna have to add more soy sauce or not. All right, let's do this. Yes, this is a tiny bowl, but that's because I like the chicken to mix in with the sauce while I eat it. And also because I don't want the sauce running off the plate. Let's carefully dump it in. And I usually use a spoon, but I'm mixing things up for this video. Bada bing, bada boom. As I get it all over the place. <laughs> but hey, it's in the bowl. All right, let's see how this tastes. There it is. Chicken stir fry. 
And here we go. Mmm. Good. I just like to put pepper on it. It's very good, guys. Success. And now I'm going to go enjoy my dinner. My iced tea's already in the oven. Oven, yeah, my iced tea's in the oven. My iced tea's in the living room. Now understand, I'm not usually that messy at the end. I don't usually just dump it out of the pot. I usually use a spoon, but I just wanted to try something different for uh, video purposes. Anyway, there you go, guys. Again, I'm not a cook, but this is pretty damn good for what it is. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. I know, Mal.